Okay, class, welcome. Sorry about the technical difficulties. <laughs> um, so we are going to start off our lesson today with um, watching Goldilocks and the Three Bears. How many of you have heard of this story, read the book, or have seen a film of it before? Anybody? No? You have? Okay. So some of our class has. It's a pretty um, common folktale in America. So we'll go ahead and start off by watching it. Pay attention to the details of the story, the different events within the story that lead up to the ending. Um, and then we will talk a little bit about the video right after that. And it plays in three years. Someone's been eating my porridge. Now, Papa Bear, 
So Goldilocks is arrested, mm -hmm. and we don't know why yet, but she's mm -hmm. been arrested. We've watched the film, so we have an idea of why she was arrested, but we are going to discuss, we're going to focus on mm -hmm. what got her arrested and why did she make those choices. So what did she do wrong? Can somebody tell me what she did wrong? What are one of the things that she did wrong? It's a visual that kind of helps you think about it. Anybody? Yeah, vandalism. You had named one before when you said she trespassed, right? Robbery, she ate the porridge. She broke the chair and just left it broken, right? Um, breaking and entering is trespassing. She could have really hurt herself jumping off the window when she was scared. Um, she didn't apologize. She got scared and she ran away. And she didn't justify anything that she did. She didn't try to right her wrongs. Um, so these are some of the things that you might want to consider while you're discussing in the class on what she did or didn't do wrong and how she was breaking the law. Is it worth justifying? Was there any reason that might make you think, Goldilocks is not a bad person. She didn't do anything bad. You know, she, maybe she made some bad choices, but she's not a bad person. Is there anything that we can think of that might justify those actions that she made? There's quite a few. <laughs> what are some of the excuses she made for her actions? So, so let's say she saw a balloon and she wanted to follow it into the house. You know, these are scenarios. I was tired and I needed some rest. I was so full of porridge, I had to rest. Do these sound like good excuses? Not really, not to me. The door was not locked. What did they expect me to do? These are outside perspectives that maybe we wouldn't think of because we have laws that teach us right and wrong. In a situation like this where someone may not know the laws, are they still held accountable for the consequences? That's something to think about, right? Okay, so now I want you guys to break up into groups and I want you to um, discuss what stance you would take. Was Goldilocks wrong and she deserves to be arrested? She should be in jail. Was Goldilocks maybe made some bad choices, but she's still young, she's only 10. Should we justify that and say that maybe she should just have a slap on her hand and she should apologize? Um, what, where does your guys' stance on this and the law? Why do we have the rules we have? You guys know? Keep us in mind, right? Okay, so you guys are going to break into little groups. You're going to talk about it, kind of discuss, and then um, we'll go over it in a little bit. So go ahead and get started. Use your little graphic organizers I gave you to kind of um, think about the points that you had wrote out about Goldilocks and her choices and discuss with each other. <laughs> and while you guys do that, you can have some gummy bears to enjoy. <laughs> I think she needs to have punishment. Like, even though she's only 10, but she's not a baby. She, has, she goes to school and she has parents and she has knowledge. Mm -hmm. She has the ability to know what's right or wrong. And yeah. It's a good point. I think it's too young for her to punish her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So she'll be arrested. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like a lesser punishment or mm -hmm. like to learn a lesson without being too harsh. Yeah. How would a ten-year-old handle jail? I think about that. Hmm. No. Um. How about the choice that she made to go in the house? Is that a little a little mistake or is that kind of a big deal? It's a big deal, right? We don't just wander into someone's home. So I think that kind of weighs in on her choice to do that, whether we know, okay, maybe she didn't know, but she should have known that one, right? <laughs> she should have known better. Um, any other points you guys think? Like any other um, stance on there that we could think of that might apply to her? She's too young to be punished. She's not really fully responsible, but she, she does deserve a punishment, right? 
and you say that she she should get a punishment. She did something wrong and it was a pretty big mistake, so she should especially at least apologize, right? Mm -hmm. Are there times um, outside of Gold Locks and the Bears that we have made choices that maybe weren't the best choices, um, but and we got received consequences because of it? You guys have any experiences like that? <laughs> I mean, this could be as little as you skip church because you're tired and you just didn't want to go today, and then your whole week is just thrown off, and you're just you you know you are starving for that spirit because you're walking away from it. You now feel more burdens throughout the week. You have not renewed your covenants. There is a consequence for little choices that we make, right? If we don't come to school, we're further behind on our assignments. If we are mean to our friends, they're mean to us. There's always a consequence um, for the things that we do. Now, when it comes to the law, those are set for the whole US. The government sets those laws state by state to address different issues. Um, and we talked about that last week. So, um, at this time, to kind of go over our what points that you guys had made, the different um, perspectives that you had about Goldilocks and how she should be punished or maybe why she did what she did. From your stance, I want you guys to write a letter to the Bears and I want you to address it how you think Goldilocks should address her situation. If you felt that she should be punished, what would she be writing from jail to the Bears? What would she be telling them? What do you think she should tell them? based off your discussion that you guys discussed um, with each other, and I'm gonna pass out the letter, and you guys can fill it out, okay? And then you submit it to me, and that will tell me whether um, you guys have a good understanding of those laws we talked about last week. Apply them to Goldilocks, and kind of how we think she should punish, and these are kind of the situations that sometimes they seem a little gray, like we're not really sure how we should handle it. And usually that's what happens when things go to court. Sometimes there's a law that's broken and the age or the person may have a factor in how they're punished. If they have lots of offenses against them, they might get a, a more worse punishment. So if you were Goldilocks and you were sitting in jail and you were thinking about the bad choices that she made, I want you guys to write that out in this letter to the Bears and address the mistakes that you made and how you could right those wrongs, okay? And even if you have an explanation for why you think she could have done it, you can write that in the letter as well. Saying, you know, I was really tired and hungry and I was lost and, you know, but that's not right. I should still have not entered your home if you were not there and did not answer the door. Things like that. Okay?